have a yellow flag on the beach, but this is more like red flag. I can't, I, I don't know why they, maybe they just left the flag up from yesterday, I don't know. Um, this is down near uh, Fish Pass Jetties, maybe a couple blocks, three or four blocks away from Fish Pass Jetties. I didn't feel like going clear out to Padre Island today, not enough time, but you can see the surf, the water clarity. I thought it was gonna be about a six today. It's more like a four where I'm at right now. Um, not extremely bad, but not good. Today, guys, we're gonna try for some pompano, some whiting and redfish, whatever's out here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things because I get a lot of comments on my Facebook page and Instagram and of course on YouTube videos of what kind of equipment, what kind of lines I use and stuff like that. So I'm going to go over it real quick before we start fishing. Okay, the first thing I use when I come out here, well, one of the main things I use, especially in the winter times, is fish bites. You can't go wrong with these. And if you have multiple flavors, like you see, I have easy crab, easy clam, easy shrimp, and then of course easy crab again. Sometimes I'll have easy sand flea. Um, but I also use fish gum very rarely. I like fish bites a lot better. And then I have my bag of salted shrimp. Now for weights, anything from a six ounce, which you can see right there, to the spunk nick, six. I usually use five or four, depending on if the surf's like this, I'm just gonna use a six today. And I believe this right here is going to be a six as well. Uh, so on days when it's real rough, I'll, put, I'll use a six. On days when it's not so bad, I'll use a four or a three. Uh, also, again, you can't go wrong with pompano rigs. These are some cheap ones I got off Amazon. I usually get some from Stanfield Tackle. The link will be underneath the description. Also, Breakaway Tackle makes some good rigs as well. I'll put that link in the description as well. But I think these are one knot, maybe, yeah, one knot uh, circle hooks. And that's all you need to be at, come out here surf fishing. You don't need no exotic equipment. Now for rods and reels, I go with eight foot rods. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, this is a spin fisher. And they run anywhere from 150 to 160, and then lightweight tackles, you know, usually under 120, 130 bucks. So you can see I got Pompano rigs there. This one over here, uh, we're using Pompano rigs as well. That's mainly what I use out here. Now I do use other rigs as well, and I'll use spoons on a good, good day when the surf's not too bad. I'll use some gold or silver spoons or a top water like a rooster popper. Uh, that's all you need guys. 20 pound test line braided uh, from Reaction Tackle and you're good to go. These are the different rigs right here. This is a bigger hook if I want to go for some big drum, big red and uh, put some live bait on it. So I use these and these come from Stanfield Tackle. Uh, this is an example of another Pompano rig. This I believe, nope this ain't a Pompano rig. This is just a single hook. Notice how small the hooks are, guys. You don't need big, gigantic hooks out here to catch fish. And these are the ones that you can buy off uh, Amazon. Uh, I'm using these temporarily until I order from Stanfield Tackle. You don't really need big hooks to catch big fish out here. I mean, you could bring in, you know, big redfish, big drum, big shark, all on just a freaking little hook about that big. Uh, but you can see the surf, it looks pretty bad today in my opinion. I was gonna put the boat out, but I'm kind of debating whether or not I should do that. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this pole in the first gut and see if there's anything out there and maybe I won't have to use the boat. I'm gonna start out with a uh, fish bites clam and topped with some little uh, uh, salted shrimp. Now, you could use bait thread and get you some uh, really good shrimp that's not peeled or whatever and use your bait thread I, it's just not for me now if you salt your shrimp there's a video link in the description it'll show you how to salt the shrimp but you want to pick some up you want to make sure you get golf shrimp peeled um, you can get it at HEB best place to get it is at um, a local seafood place where it's peeled and it's fresh and it's local uh, I like that better than using bait thread it's just it's so simple to make this that 
you know, overnight you, you'll have a whole bag of salted shrimp and it's a lot tougher and it saves you the issue of having, having to use uh, bait thread. All right, guys, let's get this pole in the water. First gut and see what happens. This is how your Pompano rig with this small hook is going to look with a little piece of uh, fish bites and a little piece of uh, salted shrimp. And that's all you need, guys. That's all you need to catch whatever. You can catch big fish, small fish, whatever you want to catch. <clears throat> We're going to try to get it in the first gut. Not too far out because I don't want to get wet because this water is cold. That's good. Now let's see, sometimes they're in the first gut. You don't even have to get that far off the beach to catch them. What's cool, like in Florida, <clears throat> you don't even have to get in the water. You could just catch them right off the beach, man. So let's see how bad the current is today. Now I prefer fishing an outgoing tide than an incoming tide. That's another thing too. I get a lot of questions about if I prefer outgoing or ingoing. I prefer ingoing or outgoing tide. Low tide. Bite. I got a bite guys. I got a bite. Is it a big one? It's a giant one. Oh Man, what a big fish <laughs> This is a, the biggest one I've ever caught <laughs> Oh Lord Oh, I think they're starting to bite but yeah, it's a big one man. It's a big one. This is actually one of the worst days fishing. What's it going to be? I bet you it's going to be a whiting. No, it's a little baby pomp. I'd like to take you home and put you in the aquarium. Look at that, guys. A little baby pomp. Nice. Well, they like this clam, I'm telling you. Look at that. Beautiful fish, man. See if I can get him like that. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Just a baby, though. Baby little pomp. All right, guy. There we go. Let's go. Where'd he go? So you can't even see down in the water, man. A lot of times, guys, if you come up and your line is slacked really, really good, most likely that's a pompano. I don't know what, what it is, but they like to uh, start swimming in towards shore when they get hooked, from my experience catching them. But yeah, guys, I was just getting ready to leave, and all of a sudden I got the whiting and then the small pompano. Hasn't been a very good day at all, man. I, I sat here for two hours and didn't even get a single bite. Tried to use the boat. The boat doesn't work in heavy, heavy surf like that, so don't even try it. Uh, but I'll tell you, man, it's been rough this winter for me, but things will get better. But anyway, guys, I'm going out of town next week, so there'll be no video next week. I'm going to be up in Oklahoma. Uh, I'll still be doing the surf reports from Oklahoma and stuff like that, but there'll be no video for next week. Uh, next weekend, which is, I believe, the 
13th, 14th, something like that. Use the stuff that I mentioned when you come out here surf fishing and you'll have a productive day. Uh, you'll either catch whiting, pompano, redfish, trout. Now I've never caught a trout off of uh, uh, fish bites, but I've had I've caught trout off dead shrimp on a pompano rig. Uh, so, you know, it, it, if you, you can come out here, you don't have to spend a fortune to come surf fishing. Just get you some good eight foot rods. You know, pen battle threes are really good. They're about 150, 160 bucks. You can get the the pen spin fisher, I believe. That's about 180 bucks, and then get you a lightweight setup to where you can throw some spoons or some top waters when you do see the birds hitting the water or you see a lot of bait. And that's all you need to come ha have a good day surf fishing. That's it. Very, very simple, man. Don't use these metal things that Walmart sell. Uh, they do, Walmart does sell some halfway decent pompano rigs. So, you know, worst comes to worst, pick you up some pompano rigs at Walmart before you come down here. Or when you get down here, pick them up. They have them at the local Walmarts. Uh, hit up Stanfield Tackle. Uh, if you're coming down here for the weekend, just hit him up on his website. I put the link uh, below. Hit him up and drive by and pick him up or have him ship to you, you know, for, I don't know, I think he charges eight, ten bucks for shipping. But get you some decent equipment. Don't use what, you know, other people are using, like those steel leaders, as you can see a picture of it right here. Uh, this, those don't work good out here. You could catch sharks on these pompano rigs. I've caught plenty of sharks on pompano rigs. You can look at Breakaway Tackle's videos and he's always reeling in sharks on pompano rigs. So get you some good quality pompano rigs from Stanfield Tackle or from Breakaway Tackle. Uh, and then just swing by and pick them up when you get down here or have them shipped to you either way. But that's all you need to have a good time out here surf fishing. A lot of people will come down here with the wrong line, the wrong hooks, the wrong sinkers. You just want to use, you know, what I uh, what I like using is using pyramid weights when the surf is not like this. You can do three to six ounce depending on the surf conditions. But then use you some uh, Sputnik weights, you know, with the with the metal things on it, so it'll grab in the sand. And depending on how heavy the surf is, you want to go from three to six. And then uh, get you some circle hooks. And that's all you need, man, to have a good time down here when you come down here on vacation. That's it. That's all I use. You know, it's a little bit different when I'm throwing spoons and stuff like that. You know, I'll use either this setup here or I'll use this setup here, which, you know, I, the line got broken, but which I rarely have lines break with this 20 pound test braided. So you don't want really want to go that heavier. Just because there's bigger fish out here doesn't mean that you go the heaviest line because you're, you're going to have a hard time casting it and you want to get at least in the second gut out here on most days, which is out there past where those waves are breaking out there. Probably another set way out there. That's where the second gut is. So if you got 50, 60, 70 pound test line, you're not going to be able to cast that good. So get you good 20 pound test. I'll put all the links down in the description. You guys can go check it out. Reaction Tackle is who I use for the line because it's fairly cheap and I've been using it for the past three years and it's excellent stuff. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Sorry I couldn't catch any more fish, but it is what it is, you know. Just a reminder, I'll be out of town next week so there'll be no video. There'll still be surf reports, but just no video. All right, have a blessed week, and we'll see you next video. Peace, guys. Thank you.